What is up, my bros? It's your boy Two Carrows on the Bucks Man channel, bringing you a not really a, an action figure toy review. This is actually going to be a video that I had put up a poll on Twitter, asking people what they would like to see content of on this channel. And what some people had voted for was actually um, my hardest customs I've ever had to make. So as you guys know, I do love doing custom repaints and um, making sculpts on new figures to make them kind of look pretty cool. So for this video, I chose uh, as to, as I mentioned the hardest ones to make. So for this, I picked out the two that involved the most tedious work on them. Uh, one of them being the most repaint heavy, and the other one being repaint heavy and sculpted wise. So, the first one is going to be Power Rangers Landing Collection. That right, guy. Let me zoom out so you guys can actually see him. And the reason I picked him is because of how many eyes I had to paint on him. So, let me turn the light on here. Almost all of these eyes were not painted. I made every single eye on this guy. Put a little line on him to show. Now, while they all don't exactly match to the brown that's used on the real eyes, it's like this eye I think was painted on, but these orangish eyes are the ones that I painted. So you can see on literally every single eye on his body. Oops. It's painted. The ones on his feet, the ones on his hands, everything. And then I gave him a black wash or a gray wash in this instance. I even did it for his little side eye piece. A little extra eyes that are molded on there. The yeah, eye guy took about three days, I want to say, <laughs> of uh, just plotting F. Plotting out the paint, like adding on the black for the eye base first, and then adding on the orange wait for that to dry, and then adding on each individual eye. Of course, when I say three days, it's more like I spread out the time to paint it, so I wasn't just working on him every single day or for several hours, but yeah, eye guy. <laughs> Even got the ones on top of his head. I was also thinking of adding like the little pupil shine, but I decided not to. Just because the rest of the eyes were not painted that way. The yeah, eye guy is what I consider my heaviest repaint. Now my heaviest repaint plus sculpt would have to go to Power Rangers Landing Collection, Red Ecliptor. And as you guys know, Red Ecliptor is, was one of the most controversial releases that it did. Because he lacked any sort of line work on him. So he looked like a big red slab. He also did not have the sculpting you see here on the shoulders. On the shoulder. <laughs> so what I did with Eye Guy here, or not Eye Guy, <laughs> Red Ecliptor here, is I had actually drawn out each individual line with paint. Put more line on there. So you can see on all the boxy details, like his original had, just all over. Black lines all over. Including on the little diamonds pins on the kneecaps, although you can see there is a little scraping there, probably when he fell down a little earlier ago. But I did actually have the whole shape outlined too. The little circuit board piece here was not painted uh, outside of, I believe, just like some of these silver lines on here. So I actually did paint out the rest of the circuit board lines so the gold, the blue, the little black in there, and then the green around it. This is really just silver. On the sword itself, I just painted the little green gem here, as well as the gold tip on both sides. I wanted to do the little details on these little ore pieces, but I did not, just because that would take more time. Added in the silver and the lines over here. Silver lines on the arm itself, and actually I painted that part uh, gunmetal gray, because originally this was just red, I believe. Also filled in the spots with some putty. It could be kind of pinless. Down here, like individual sculpting all around shoulder pads, and then paint it over with silver. Paint his face. Wash. Also did the lines all over. Additional wash up here. On this side, 
I did add the little, I actually drilled and added in like actually um, a translucent piece that then painted over with some green. Painted over the shoulder with the gold tips here and the black outlines in the bottom. Added in more of the silver lines that are missing. More of the red lines here. I wanted to do the sculpt on the stomach, but unfortunately I couldn't because of how he needs that for his ab articulation. So I did not paint that part. Then over here, Gamal Gray at the elbow. And then I actually, I try to make these spikes stick out because that's actually how he has them in the show, but they would not, so I just made them curved. Just so they could still fit on there, but I did sculpt these on and then paint them gold. Got the line there. Clips, but... Yeah, red eclipse door. You guys don't mind, give me a second. We'll go ahead and grab normal eclipse door so you guys can actually see the comparison between him and normal eclipse door. So the reason I said normal or red eclipse door was more controversial of a release is because look how many detail lines are actually on normal eclipse door. He has like all these details added on him, but red eclipse door did not. So. That's where I came in. So yeah, it's really cool to have both these guys together now. Lines all around. I just realized that he has like a line right here in the middle, but I don't think I saw one on the back of this one. So that's why that's not painted. Yeah, full on black outline details on him. Yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, if you guys want to stick around, I'm going to probably take a couple pictures of these guys just so you guys can see them. And let me know what you guys would want to see. I have a bunch of other customs up on the shelf. Uh, I know I have uh, made custom Ninjetti helmets for each of the different range Ninjetti Rangers. I actually sculpted those. I have April O'Neil as a custom. I pretty much showed her in one of my shorts that you saw on this channel. Um, I even have like some modifications made to my Marvel Legends PS5 Spider-Man. So if you want to see any of that stuff, just let me know. And be sure to follow us, like, comment, subscribe. Check out our uh, Twitters. You can find me at TrueGarrettRose on both Twitter and Blue Sky, ReggieRay93 on Instagram and Threads, as well as our show's Twitter, which is Bugs and Men, and Gary's Twitter, which is GBX93. I'll see y'all later. Bye!